guys, I'm Lisa Lopez coming to you from AskLisaLopez.com. I've got a lot of people following me now and I thought it was only right that I give you a bit of my story and a bit of my background. So my journey began when I was 13. Um, my mom was always self-employed. She always created her own show and she always worked for herself. So I naturally, at the age of 13, went and did some weekend work within her establishments. And what I found is as I got older, at the age of 16, I was able to run my mum's establishment on my own. So if she decided to take a vacation or a day off, I was able to go and step in and cover for her from a very, very early age. I got to about 18, 19, and I see my friends going into interviews and into employment. And I figured that I needed to have those, those skills. I needed to have interview skills. Whilst it was good working for my mom, I knew at some point I was going to have to like leave her and, and figure my own way out in life. So at the age of 18, 19, I, I didn't want to get to 25 and not have had that interview experience or not have had that experience of being what it's like to be in a workforce. So I I, I left my mom and I went and found myself on my first interview. And that was for an insurance company. Back then it was called Dial Direct. Now it's called Fusion. They're still going. And I found myself on an interview and I got the job. And in most companies they do an induction day. And I'm gonna share this story with you because it's a story that has probably helped create my future and it's probably took me to where I am today and it always it's always stuck with me so in on the induction day the lady she has given us an overview of the company and of the owner the guy who owns the entire establishment now he had a few establishments within the UK and abroad and he lived in South Africa and she was describing to us this guy and he lived in South Africa and he lived he had a penthouse in South Africa and his wife drives a pink Cadillac with custom designed seats and I was like wow you know he, he what an amazing life fair play to him and so I put my hand up and I asked one of the questions that sprung to mind for me was does this guy come and you know say thank you to his employers so I put my hand up and I said does he ever visit the UK does he ever come and see us and she was like no and I was like oh my god that's like really bad we're all putting our time and effort in so that he can live this lifestyle so that his wife can drive a pink Cadillac with custom design seats and he don't even come and and see us and I thought that was really, really bad. And I thought, you know what? Um, I need to be the person in the penthouse. And that, you know, it just became apparent that I really, that was what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be putting all my time and energy so somebody else could live this lifestyle. I wanted to be putting that time and energy into myself. But nevertheless, I was on a journey and I got really, got into the role. I got, you know, put into my position very quickly after the training. And, and then it became apparent that um, I didn't like employment. So um, I, I figured like, you know, I can't walk around this office space freely. I have to be at my desk 24 seven. I have to be taking calls. The calls became mundane. They were repetitive calls. And I couldn't work my way up within this company at the rate that I wanted to go. You know, it, it, I, it, I, the, it became knowledgeable that I was gonna have to be here for a number of years before I even, hit a pay rise or I, I was even able to start working my way up to the next position. So I didn't like it. it I'm an achiever and I need to feel like I'm achieving on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. Here I was stuck at a desk where I was going to have to be for how many years doing the same thing and I, I just didn't like it. So I thought maybe it's the job. Maybe I need to go and find another job, something that um, is more enjoyable. So I've done lots of different jobs jobs within my time and realized it's not the jobs it's just employment itself um me and employment just don't go it just don't work for me i've tried it i've been there i've had jobs i've had numerous jobs and employment is just not for me self-employment is now while self-employment is not for everybody neither 
employment is not for everybody as well so they, we're all different we're all different people and we all want different things out of life we've all got different values etc so i've tried it um unfortunately me and rules me and employment are a no-no so i knew very early that if i was going to make it in this in this world if i was going to make it in my life that i need to do something that i create myself and i need to become my own boss so i went off and i decided to open i was in the catering industry with my mom for a number of years i knew how to run it i knew what i was doing but i didn't want to work for my mom no more either so i decided to open up my own catering van i thought i'll start small with a catering van and expand very quickly six seven months down the line i discovered it wasn't going to bring me the um income that i wanted and i needed to i'd already wrote in a bit i already written a business plan and i needed to go back to work and save some funds that was going to allow me to make my business plan happen so i found myself back in employment and i found this time a job that i half liked you know it was all right it weren't too bad it was on a different way of looking at things i knew it was just a mean to an end it wasn't going to be forever so I, my perspective on it changed and i it, the wage was okay it was going to enable me to be able to save so that i could then go ahead and start opening up and bringing my business plan into reality so i was there and i was on attempt to permanent contract we were going through training they um assured us that our, our permanent contract contracts would come at the end of our training at the end of our training um our permanent contract didn't come and it was like it will be here next month anyway i i i could work my way up in this job at my own speed it, you know it really appealed to me i could save the money in the meantime to open up my own business anyway one day i went to work one day there was about 10 or 15 of us who went through the um employment process all together and we all went to work one day we all left one day and every single one of us got a call that said we don't need you tomorrow wow oh my god it was like it was the worst day of my life but the best day of my life it was the best thing that could have happened to me at the time i cried my eyes out because i obviously i had a plan in my mind that was going to enable me to move into self-employment and it was really like oh my god it was really quite shocking how can anybody do it to you you you've just left there at say three half three and by four o'clock they'd phoned me and said don't come in tomorrow and they've done it to all of us and i just figured that like you know it's just not safe it's not safe to be in employment if somebody can get rid of you like that what is the point so i decided that right there right now forget the savings this is my business plan is coming out and this has got to happen because i cannot sack myself okay there's most security a person has got in employment is 30 days because that's the notice period that any employer has to give you um in my case because i wasn't on a permanent contract yet it was basically it it was like i had no security whatsoever so um while well, i dwelled on it for a few days i soon picked myself back up pulled my business plan out and went to the prince's trust and become a prince's trust startup where they helped me to uh, raise funds to enable me to open my business a lot of you already know i ran my own catering outside catering business and cafe for seven to eight years absolutely loved it um but found myself in a position where i, I walked in there one day and i thought Do you know what i achieved everything that i wanted wanted to achieve i could have took it further i could have took it into a franchise but i just didn't want to i wanted a change i wanted i i was smelling of grease every single day i couldn't wear my heels um i love wearing heels and i you know i couldn't wear my heels running around the kitchen catering for a um, number of people um and it, it just wasn't the luxurious business owner that I wanted to be. Although I own my own business, it wasn't, there was some value still not um, clicking there for me. So I decided to close my catering down and um, I decided that I needed something that I, I had a small child, I, I'd just given birth and I needed something that worked around him as well. Uh, 
rather than him working around my cafe so my values had changed uh, my priorities had changed there as well and I just thought you know it's the ideal time to change if I don't change now I'm going to be in the catering industry probably for another five ten years so I really went searching I needed something with low overhead costs because I took out business loans um, to get my to establish my business in the first place and so I, I, I knew I wasn't going to get any more business loans to really start up another bricks and mortar um, business so I seen a friend of mine she was promoting some stuff online and it really looked intriguing the lifestyle really looked intriguing the the business model really looked intriguing to me and I decided to look into it and the more and more I looked into it the more and more I realized that this is what I was looking for initially when I went into opening up my bricks and mortar business and although I had to go through that journey need to realize that the bricks and mortar business was not going to bring me the time freedom it wasn't going to bring me the money that I had previously thought that it was and it wasn't going to allow me to um, leverage my time as a person I had to always be in this business seven days a week and it come to the point where I got this small baby and I wanted my weekends back so I looked deeper into her business and the business model and what it is she was doing and I just knew from the off that this was something I've always always been looking for so that brings me into my network marketing journey and what network marketing allows me to do is leverage my time as a person so I can now if I decide to work I do have structure because we've always got to have structure no matter whether we're working for somebody whether we're working for ourselves or whatever it is we're doing we need to have some form of structure going on so that you get things done you achieve things on a daily weekly and monthly basis but it allowed me to pick my own structure whereas my cafe had to be open at certain times of the day because obviously they're the days that, days that the general public want to come and eat so with network marketing it allowed me to pick do I work at night or do I work in the day do I work weekends or do I work in the week I picked my own structure it allowed me to leverage my time as a person so anything that I'm putting out there leverages on a number of different platforms it also allows me to build an entire team and leverage their time as well it enables me to leverage my my money um, and so that I have different streams of income not just one stream of income coming in it allows me to um, have different streams of income coming in from all different directions and I absolutely love it it is one of the best things that I have ever done it allows me to grow as an individual as well as uh, allow my business to grow so it allows me to grow as a person so each day I become a better person it allows me to help so many other people around the world which is one of my values anyway my catering allowed me to employ so many people so it enabled me to help them in that way but network marketing enables me to help hundreds of people all at one time so there's different reasons why network marketing works for me um, it sits completely with my values um, and who I am as a person and that's all I'm going to say on the mess. It gives you a little, this video has gone into 13 minutes again. I've been trying to get it down, but it's just not happening. There's so much to say on my journey. Um, lots of cool stuff happening this week, guys. I'm going to be into interviewing the one and only Lisa Torres. I'm going to be sending out a link so that you can jump on that interview with me and ask Lisa some personal questions yourself. On that note, I'm going to leave you guys for the day and uh, make sure you make Monday absolutely amazing and I'll catch up with you tomorrow on tomorrow's video thank you